Hello, this is Dr. Jeffrey Hedrick, and I'm sitting in my office creating a digital portfolio piece. It's actually an iMovie that I plan on posting to YouTube, and then I'm going to share this with anybody who's interested. And I'm also going to talk about uh, my multimedia courses that I've taught, multimedia design courses. I've taught a few of those in the past, and the use of uh, web in uh, Google Sites for social media and Facebook. And also I use Google Sites for academic purposes. Academic purposes meaning I use Google Sites whenever I go to a conference. For instance, at the uh, Eastern Communication Association, I had a paper accepted in political communication and I created a Google Site. For the uh, AEJMC Scholastic Division, I had a conference paper accepted, and this was about campus newspaper readership, and again, I created a Google site. And uh, this past year, in August, I had another paper accepted. This was about assessment of learning outcomes for AEJMC, and once again, I created a Google site. And uh, I also create Google sites, because I love Google sites, incidentally, for uh, uh, those instances when I have to uh, do a workshop. Some of the workshops I've done are like the Summer Journalism Institute, which is high school students that come in to JSU and they come every summer in June and I post a Google site to use as a kind of a, like an agenda and, uh, and that they can access, the students can follow along instead of having a handout. You know students don't like handouts and they lose them the first day of class, after the first day. So I put this online. Same thing goes for professional development. When I've done professional development workshops, I post something online. Recently, this past May, I did one for JSU Grades First. Now, let's get to uh, social media. Social media and uh, how I use the social media and once again I create Facebook pages not Google sites this time you go to Facebook and I have at one time I had as many as four Facebook presence in that actually and right now I have two active ones the ones I'm going to share with you are, are my personal site and my James Madison Warhawks James Madison Warhawks is actually the one that's most important and relevant here because it's something that I created in 2011 because my high school reunion from a 30 year reunion didn't go so well. So my whole intention from a public relations perspective was to bring everybody together and so once everybody was together in the social media we could make the 40 year reunion work much better. What I ended up happening was not only did I attract the people from my own class, the class of 1975, I also attracted the class of 1972, the class of 1973, and the class of 1974. Inadvertently, they, since none of them had their own social media presences on Facebook, they found my site, believe it or not. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, sh also show you that how I connected this with Google Sites, where I created a site for the reunion committee, which I am a co-chair uh, of. Uh, the reunion committee, we created, uh, we decided that we wanted to make something digital, have a digital presence, an online presence, where people could buy or purchase the reunion tickets using PayPal. And so I did that for them. I also uh, made a made a little special section in this uh, uh, online presence official site that where I used a Google form so I could aggregate their in personal information and we could use that to keep in contact with the students. I'm also gonna go over uh, a few other things but this is it for now.